Um, I guess, first of all, just your reaction to yesterday's news that, that Monty is going to the Hall of Fame on the first ballot. Well, uh, I think it was expected, uh, deserved, all that sort of thing. Thrilled for him, just like everybody here in San Antonio and back in Argentina, I'm sure. So uh, it's a wonderful thing. Do you, do you remember the first time you saw him play in the States? Was it in Indianapolis for that FIBA World Cup? Championship? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I think the first time I saw him was a film uh, playing overseas, yeah. if I remember right. Yeah. I was wondering if there was a moment early where you realized you guys had something, like before he actually well, we, joined you guys. Well, we, you know, we. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember talking to RC. I think we, we, we knew we had a uh, wild, competitive uh, young man who was in love with basketball and uh, was quite athletic and just fierce. Uh, just seem to have no fear and do whatever it might be that he needed to do to win. Uh, he was a force of nature, and that's what we saw, you know, initially, to be honest. I guess he's been credited with, if not inventing that hero step, definitely yeah. popularizing yeah, it. That, the early stages of that's that. his. He gets credit for that. Uh, and it's become, you know, a, a staple, a skill that everybody gets taught now uh, or just learns on their own because they know they got to do it because it's so effective. So, yeah, that was that was his signature for sure. Did it look like a travel to you at first? I didn't know what the hell it was. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it didn't look right. <laughs> but it, it, it obeys the rules, you know. It's just a little bit different. He put a little spin on it, and uh, it's pretty neat. And, and George Carl got into it. What do you, what do you think about that? George is uh, – He's magnificent in the sense that he's he's a true coach, and, and by that I mean it, it's in his blood. Uh, it's just what he does, and he's a natural. Uh, it's just an intrinsic ability to understand the game at the highest level, uh, and he loved the competitiveness of it. Uh, he loved to tweak it and screw with it. Uh, he was. Uh, really a, a creative, imaginative uh, lover of the game of basketball, for sure. He respected history uh, and really understood how the game should be played. On the subject of tonight's game, is, is DeJounte available? So far, uh, he's, he's probable. What about Joshua Primo? I, th I think he's fine. I haven't heard anything. So they don't tell me anything. I just... <laughs> okay.